Hello everybody, this is Budridge and this is how to view thumbnails in Thunar. Let's see if this works now because this has been really tricky to uh, set up, but whatever. Uh, here is Thunar, I open my pics directory, we can see our screenshots directory, you know where we have saved our screenshots. View it as icon view here. Just normal file icons. Uh, you can enable thumbnail view in Thunar by installing a special package. First you should make sure that the Thunar daemon isn't running by executing Thunar-Q there and then pacman capital S lowercase s tumblr and this should be available in other package managers as well but on ARC you can install it from the extra repositories. And it's a dbus service for applications to request thumbnails. And dbus is uh, one of the strangest uh, parts of, of a Linux system. It's really hard to, to manage this stuff, but whatever. Uh, and, and this is something you don't need to think about it. It, it will create like a, it's like a daemon that will generate thumbnails whenever you add a new file. So let's install this Tumblr guy and see what happens. Yes, please. Here, now it's installed. Here it's very interesting here. Uh, optional dependencies for Tumblr. You can see there is like for video thumbnails, there is this FFmpeg thumbnailer. Uh, for PDF thumbnails, there is Poplar and FreeType have this one. Uh, so uh, I, if you want uh, video thumbnails, for instance, you can install FFmpeg Thumbnailer as well. And as you can see, I have already installed that. So let's open Thunar now and see if if it worked at all. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see here. Pics, screenshots, and there we could see it generated the, the thumbnails. And now we have beautiful thumbnails in our screenshots directory can open this directory pwp here containing some phone wallpapers and as you can see it needs to generate the the, the thumbnails the first time you, you you view them here when it does when they don't exist but when it have done so now it's extremely fast now it, it is like native icons for it it's it's very it works very well and and you know we can zoom in and out and stuff and this is the reason I use Thunar and a GUI file manager uh, and, and the biggest advantage. Okay, so that's image thumbnails and that's all you have to do. It just works here. But what about the video thumbnails? Let's see here if we go to my bud directory where I have my... Yeah, the videos are recorded for this YouTube channel. Uh, by default here, uh, you get this ugly uh, video strip thing here. And this is something that have been, I have been annoyed with for a long time. And, and today I figured out how to get rid of it. So, so you can get thumbnails without the, the, the strip like this. Um, there is a lot of weird stuff and strange files here that we have to, that I have investigated and edited to, to make this work um, but when you one thing I did was uh, with with ffmpeg thumbnailer installed I executed ffmpeg thumbnailer dash help and I got a little help screen here with command line options and here we can see dash f creates a movie strip overlay so I thought, yeah, somewhere, some place, uh, this FFmpeg thumbnailer is executed with the F flag by default by, by Thunar. So if I can just find that place and remove this F flag, everything should work, right? So I searched around in some weird directories and found this thumbnailers directory inside USR share thumbnailers. And here you can create your own thumbnailers that Tumblr will start if, if they match the mime type here. So you can create like uh, all kinds of stuff here and have, have a great time, you know. I thought so, but 
I remove this F flag here and uh, tried it, restarted everything, even restarted the computer. You kind of need to do that a lot when you do this, uh, enable these th thumbnailers. So if you follow here in the video, uh, if your video thumbnails doesn't show up here, my, my, my suggestion is restart the computer uh, and it will probably work. It's, it have to do with this D-Bus uh, thing. Uh, and I have tried to find find a way to, to restart individual D-Bus services, but I, I, I don't know, it, it's so weird. Uh, so I don't know how to do it. And when I remove this F flag here, it didn't work anyway. I still got these uh, um, uh, strips on the side of, of the movie icons. Uh, so then I did some more investigation. Pac-Man, capital Q, S, Tumblr will print a list of all files installed, uh, or QL will print a list of all files installed uh, when I installed the Tumblr package here. You can see it's quite a long list, a lot of, of translations and stuff. And then I saw this file, which looks like some sort of a configuration file. I thought maybe this is the place where, where it sets that F flag. Etsy XDG uh, Tumblr, Tumblr RC. Let's copy that and open it in Sublime. Well, yeah, there it is. Etsy XDG Tumblr Tumblr RC. Uh, and then I found this file. And here we can actually see this FFmpeg thumbnailer disabled false, but there is no uh, sign of an F flag or anything here. Um, and I also found this URL here, which I opened. In I have it already open here in Vivaldi, and it tells me that I should move this RC file to the config directory instead, inside .config slash Tumblr, and move the file there. So just follow these instructions. I have already done so, so I have it located here. It's the same and let's close this one. Uh, here is the same file, but in the .config directory. So you have to create this folder and uh, or directory and move this file here. And uh, after reading this, this was actually good, very good XFC documentation here. It, uh, it gave me a lot of, of insights into how these things work. And another thing is that uh, I, I didn't know about this, but apparently in, in this version and the forward of Thunar 1.8.2, I don't know, my version is uh, yeah 1.6 because I use this uh, GTK2 version and so on. But from this version and onwards, you can, you, you can have uh, folder icons, which I am really, really interested in, in having. So you can set custom icons for directories, and you cannot do that uh, in, in this version. Uh, but whatever, uh, getting sidetracked uh, there a bit. But uh, here it also explains how this uh, RC file works. And uh, you can have different priorities, you can have multiple thumbnailers for that... Um, will match the same type of files, but you can have different priorities and stuff. And uh, the thing is with this FFmpeg thumbnailer here, I think it's some sort of a built-in plugin to Tumblr, but you still need to install the FFmpeg thumbnailer package. I know it's super weird. And what you need to do is set this flag disabled to true. And that means then it will uh, use uh, this thumbnailer instead and then you can remove the f here so on this directory user share thumbnailers there you will find ffmpeg thumbnailer remove the f flag from that and in uh, tumblr rc in your config directory you change uh, ffmpeg thumbnailer disabled to true and then it will always use these, uh, they call them desktop thumbnailers. And when this is done correctly, we should be able here now to open uh, another video directory. 
this is the YouTube, my YouTube downloads. And you can see uh, the thumbnails uh, don't have the ugly strip and they are generated with, with that one instead. The same here, these are also just as fast now as, as uh, image thumbnails. So um, that's how you set it up. But but don't worry, if, you, if you're trying to follow along here now in the video and just install Tumblr and FFmpeg thumbnailer, and nothing seems to work, just follow the steps here. Copy the right files and, and modify them and then restart your computer to, for uh, DBus to, to, to work. It's, it's super strange. I don't know, I don't know how, how to restart these services otherwise, because otherwise the settings will not have effect, even if you change the files and stuff. You, you sometimes need to reboot when you do this. But when this is set up, then everything just works. Um, and also here, we could take that while we are at it, you know, uh, in my bud directory here, I still have this uh, movie strip on on um, uh, on the on the um, as uh, as the thumbnails here, and that's because uh, it, it reads the thumbnails from a cache directory that you can find in your home directory. Then you have a directory called cache, and that contains yet another directory called thumbnails. And right now we just have the normal directory here, which is the normal size of thumbnails. I think it's 128 pixels wide. Um, normal. And here we can see a bunch of uh, uh, thumbnail uh, thumbnails. This weird name of the thumbnails is not... Uh, there, uh, there is some logic behind this, or there is quite a lot of logic behind it. But let's not get into that in this uh, uh, um, video. But if you want to recreate your thumbnails, just clean this directory. You could you could remove the whole normal directory here. Rm rf star ls no thumbnail directory. And now if I go back here and into this directory again, it should regenerate the thumbnails and they shouldn't have the this one does, but that's a ping file, as you can see. It was me who were experimenting. So this is not the this is the actual image. It's a PNG image with whatever. Let's remove that. <laughs> okay, but now you can see it works, and this is how you clean the cache, so you can regenerate all the thumbnails and so on. Later videos, we look into how to create our own thumbnails and what these strings really mean. Um, but um, I think this is good for now. And I wanted to, to squeeze this thumbnail video in because uh, in the next video we look into how to uh, create custom actions in Thunar. Uh, and we will create a custom action to set the wallpaper by just uh, selecting an image and pressing a, a key combination. It will automatically set the wallpaper to the image we have selected. Uh, and then it can be nice to have thumbnails and for other reasons as well. I guess we can also see now in our pix directory screenshots. You now here are our good old screenshots that we can take with our snap command here. We can take a full screen screenshot, save it, default location, and there you can see it. And, and it immediately creates the, the thumbnail here. And I think this is the thumbnail creation uh, is done uh, even if Thunar isn't running with, with this Tumblr's dbus thing that is super weird. But maybe one day I figure out exactly how that dbus stuff works. It would be interesting to know about it. But uh, it's complicated. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your new thumbnails. Bye bye.